Welcome back to another video guys. So today we're going to show you how to install a patio pet door with your sliding door and integrate your existing locks using the security pack. Included with your patio pet door, you'll have a steel locking plate, a security plate with self-tapping screws, four thumb screws, a draft stopper, an instruction manual, two foam rectangular weather seals, and two D-shaped weather seals. In the security pack, you'll find a screen door latch with countersunk screws, two security plates with self-tapping screws, and a transfer plate with screws and bolts. To install the security pack, you'll need a pair of pliers or cutters, a screwdriver, preferably an electric screwdriver, and a marker pen or pencil. First, get the long thumb screws, put them into the pet door. Make sure you don't tighten them up all the way. Then put the patio pet door into the track. Push the top plate up. Next, put the short thumb screws into the centre of the pet door. One of these is to cover the hole, and the other is to secure the security plate onto the side of the pet door. Next, we can use the sliding door to push the pet door into the tracks. Now if you're having trouble fitting the pet door into the tracks, watch video 015 for a solution. Then you'll need to mark the security plate on the frame with a pencil. Now remove the pet door. Then we'll attach the security plate to the frame using the self-tapping screws. Optionally, you can install more security plates at the top and bottom or even at the very top of the track there and the bottom down here. Then we'll put the pet door back into the track, push the top piece up, tighten the thumb screws, and push the pet door back over to the side track. Now the pet door is attached to your frame. Next we'll apply the weather seals. First, we need to clean the door. Then we'll apply the rectangular weather seal and apply it to the top of the pet door only. Then we'll apply the D-shaped weather seal to the entire length of the pet door. and trim off the excess at the bottom. Close the sliding door up to the pet door. Check there are no gaps between the two. If there are any large gaps, watch video 016, and that'll show you how to adjust that. Now, the seals do need time to expand after they've been rolled up, so if there are any small gaps, don't worry too much they will come out once the seal is settled. Now, remove the lock from the sliding door frame. These locks might look different on each door, but generally they are all the same. To do this, you have to remove the cover off of it first.
Then we'll remove the lock. Once we've removed the lock, we need to attach it to the transfer plate included in the security pack. Some locks will attach on the front, some locks will attach from the side. This plate will accommodate them both. At the back of the lock, make sure there's a big enough gap so the cover can fit back on. To make it easier, grab some scrap timber and use it as a base. Position your lock onto the plate and secure it using the included screws. Now if the screws provided aren't the right size for your lot, you may need to get some additional screws. After you've attached it, you'll need to cut off the screws on the reverse side of the plate using pliers or snips. If you're struggling with the snips or pliers, you can always use a hacksaw or an angle grinder. Once we've trimmed the screws, we can put the cover back onto the lock and secure it. Then, lock into the handle of the door, this will show you the exact place we need it. Hold the lock in place and use the self tapping screws to attach it to the petrol. Once attached, your sliding door should close and lock securely with the pet door. If your latch doesn't lock smoothly, you may need to adjust this plate here. It has got a little bit of adjustment room in it, so adjust it to the right height. And then it should work smoothly. Now if your lock isn't latching properly you may need to adjust this metal plate in here. To do that undo the screws counterclockwise and that pushes the plate further out. To push the plate further in screw the screws clockwise and that'll push the plate further in. Finally, we need to apply the draft stopper to the back of the sliding door. Again, make sure the door is clean and free of any dirt for good adhesion. The draft stopper prevents drafts from coming around the back of the sliding door once the pet door's in place. Make sure it doesn't touch the glass, but it's close to it. and then trim the draft stopper. If you've purchased some of our other accessories or are facing any issues at all, please check out our other videos at lalunapetcare.com.au And there we go, your pet doors installed. Thanks for watching.